break down the proteins and the carbs and the fats because those enzymes not only are they going to break down your food they're also going to break down the virus exactly it's those proteins it's those spikes that are attaching and lodging into our cells so who thinks about that right we think lungs we think respiratory we think all right let's pay attention to this if you're using them appropriately and they can also benefit you in so many other different ways. Hello everyone and welcome back to another whole wellness method video. I am Lita Sportel at the upcoming LitasHealing.com and founder of the whole wellness method and in this video we are continuing our discussion on getting through the coronavirus crisis with you and specifically we are continuing our discussion on what to do with our digestive system to make sure that um, the virus doesn't get into uh, the lungs through the digestive system. We've talked about in the previous video about how we want to have strong hydrochloric acid in our stomach. That way, if the virus gets in through the gastrointestinal tract, that it burns in the stomach. Now, if we don't have enough hydrochloric acid, the next line of defense that our digestive system has is the pancreatic enzymes, the digestive enzymes that our body produces from the pancreas and pushes them into the small intestine and in there is where we digest our foods because the way we digest our foods is through the, these enzymes, right? That's how we break down the proteins and the carbs and the fats and all these different uh, things that are in our foods. So while this is not a discussion about digesting our food, and that's a whole separate video, what I want to bring your attention to is that if we don't have enough pancreatic enzymes, just like I was saying before, if we don't have enough hydrochloric acid, then we become more prone to this virus making taking a hold of our digestive tract and then making its way into the lungs through the bloodstream because if the virus gets into the gastrointestinal system and it doesn't get killed there, then it will be absorbed into the bloodstream. Once it is in the bloodstream, it will make its way to the lungs. So that's why uh, this can be a concerning route of infection. So first line of defense, hydrochloric acid. If that's not strong enough, second line of defense, pancreatic enzymes. If those are not strong enough, which unfortunately in all the tests that I do, the GI map stool test that I do with my clients, most of them have low pancreatic enzymes. It's not uncommon at all. Unfortunately, that is the way it is right now. I'm not going to go into why that is, but we do address the root causes of that in my sessions with clients. But right now, I just want to say most of us have low pancreatic enzymes which is making us a lot more vulnerable to this virus. So what would be important then right now is to perhaps supplement externally using a supplement to give you some good pancreatic enzymes. And those, they have these um, proteases in them. And those are enzymes that are going to break down not only your food, which is an added benefit to this and that's why we use mainly digestive enzymes is to break down your food better so you can absorb it better but that's not the main reason why we're talking about this right now the main reason we're talking about it is because those enzymes not only are they going to break down your food they're also going to break down the virus they're going to break down those proteins outside of the virus outside of the on the cell wall of the of the virus that is Exactly, it's those proteins, it's those spikes that are attaching and lodging into our cells and making their way in. If we break those down, perhaps we're lessening the ability of the virus to get in the cells. So I think we should all be talking a lot more about digestive enzymes because they're so beneficial on so many different levels. And here we are also having this amazing potential life-saving benefit of the virus breaking down in the, in the 
gastrointestinal tract in the small intestine and not making its way into the bloodstream. So that would mean taking digestive enzymes with your food. And I will link to some of my favorite products that I'm upping right now, the amounts of digestive enzymes I'm taking, and I'm suggesting that to all my clients. And so that's that's a really good uh, strategy to take right now. And I have to say, um, I'm mentioning Dr. Muri a lot in these um, videos because he has written a really awesome article on this topic and one of the things he says is that um, it, it's well established that pancreatic enzyme insufficiency is a major risk factor for all viral respiratory infections. All viral respiratory infections are linked to low digestive enzymes. So who thinks about that, right? We think lungs, we think respiratory, we think that has nothing to do with the gut. The gut has nothing to do with the respiratory tract. Just like we think the gut has nothing to do with how I feel or my anxiety or my depression. Just like we think the gut has nothing to do with my hormone problems. Yet we are showing now the gut has everything to do with all these different things. And right now it has something to do with our ability to fight the coronavirus too. So it's like, all right, let's pay attention to this. And he's also saying that he thinks, uh, and he's proven that enzyme replacement therapy, which means when you are taking enzymes as a supplement, is the key medical approach to reduce the risk of lung infections. So because we're so concerned about a lung infection right now with the coronavirus, but even with any other uh, viruses or other infections in the future that we might be concerned about, why don't we again look into the gut? and optimizing the health of our gut and supplementing with these enzymes that will go and digest those um, particles, those viral particles that are going to go and digest the bacteria and everything else that we shouldn't be having in our guts. So that's a hopeful message and um, I think can be really helpful. Again, none of that is medical advice, but uh, it is just how I am understanding things and the education I want to provide you. And one more thing here, when you take enzymes on an empty stomach, so now I talked about taking these enzymes with your food, but if you were to take specific enzymes, and I will link to those, they're called proteolytic enzymes, not digestive enzymes, but proteolytic enzymes, systemic enzymes. And when you take those on an empty stomach, they have also been shown to really help respiratory health, along with so many other things, inflammation in general, people with joint, joint pain and arthritis and inflammation and um, cardiovascular uh, problems, um, uh, all kinds of different conditions that I will actually make a separate video on um, proteolytic enzymes, when you take those on an empty stomach, they can also go and clean up the debris and can clean up those viral particles from our respiratory tract, from the lungs, from anywhere in our body. So to me, it's like, let's use the power of enzymes. You know, the hydrochloric acid I mentioned in the previous video, the pancreatic enzymes I'm mentioning in this video, and the proteolytic enzymes, which I will also link to those which you take on an empty stomach, maybe, you know, enzyme therapy can be really, really beneficial right now uh, with what we're dealing with in this acute situation. But also, these are tools I'm using with my clients for chronic health conditions. So again, it's those things that can do no harm, really. Um, if you're using them appropriately and they can also benefit you in so many other different ways. So that's what I really wanted to offer you here and just, you know, educating you on some things that maybe you haven't heard or maybe, you know, you haven't quite thought about or maybe you had a little inkling about some of these things but you weren't quite sure if it's right or not. So I'm doing my work uh, to really gather everything I can to 
bring to you that is really showing to be very helpful. And optimizing our gut health overall is going to be something very important in fighting this virus. So I will follow up with more tools and what I'm doing and what my clients are doing to help uh, boost our gut health right now. And it's not just taking probiotics, if that's what you're thinking. It's a little more than that, uh, that I will have a special video on that to tell you how to optimize your gut health right now, which uh, can also help make this virus um, weaker once it enters your body, if it enters your body, to make it uh, an environment where the virus is like, don't want to be in here, can't be in here, and um, it doesn't create any havoc in your body. So that's what we're going to be talking about in the next few videos. In the meantime, leaving you in whole wellness. Bye-bye.